Hey everybody, this is Zach, and today here I'm at uh, IT Pro TV, and I have Mike here with me, and he's going to tell us a little bit about himself and what he does. Yeah, absolutely. I am one of the uh, edutainers here at IT Pro TV, and I teach primarily uh, the Windows Server tracks, the uh, Windows 10 tracks, uh, a little bit on the security side of things. I love to dive into the office side of things, so a little bit of everything, but primarily Windows Server. Cool. Uh, how did you first get into IT? What was that? You know, was it, it was like? a, a long time ago. Um, I was actually a restaurant manager up in uh, Washington, D.C., oh. uh, managing a little barbecue restaurant up there, uh, and was out, uh, it was in the wintertime, we used to bring our patio tables in, and then springtime, we'd put our patio tables back out, uh, and I was out there uh, helping my employees move the patio tables back out and wash the pigeon poop off of the tables, and I thought, you know, this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. Uh, so I got to thinking about it, and, and computers had always been, a, at that time, a hobby of mine. I liked it, uh, and I thought, you know, that'd be something I could do. And it's a, it's a really fast-changing field. I find I get bored with stuff really quick. Um, so I, I love this field because it's one of those, it's always changing. Right. You know? And so I, uh, I ended up starting doing some training at a, a, a tech school, um, started to get some certifications, and then uh, moved my way over here. Cool. Uh, what was that path like when you... It was interesting. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, it was a, a complete career change, obviously. Uh, so I really couldn't rely on any of my, my past experience. Started at the beginning, A+, plus, Net+, plus, um, Security+, plus, you know, worked through those. Uh, and then started getting my, uh, at the time, the MCP. You know, getting my, uh, gosh, I started Windows 2000 uh, and uh, 2000 Professional. Um, and then got my MCSA, got my MCSE. And at that point, uh, that took a, a, probably a little over a year to start rounding up all those certifications um, and wasn't sure what I was going to do. You know, knew that I wanted to do computers, got the certifications and really was planning on getting a job like everybody else, administering a network somewhere, working in the field. Um, but the school I was going to uh, needed an instructor at the time. Um, and I had been going to the school for a year, so they knew me, knew my personality, and they thought I'd be a good fit. Um, and started teaching and, and I've loved it so much that uh, I've been doing it ever since. So uh, that was back in 2004. Wow. wow. Yeah. Um, how'd you end up here at IT Pro TV? Uh, the, actually, the, the school I went to was uh, New Horizons Computer oh, okay. Learning Center, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, which was owned by our current owner here. Yeah. Um, and so when he transitioned from New Horizons to this, I jumped on board. I saw IT Pro TV as the future of the way education yeah. should be done and the way it's, oh, yeah. you know, the way it's done correctly. Um, so I left New Horizons and came here. Yeah, oh, that's, I've heard that one a lot. It's <laughs> I so bet. Cool. You know, it's so cool to see that, though. Yeah. It's, it's nice to have that, that family kind of yeah. uh, background. Yeah. You started it, guys here, and now, you know. It's like, Just it's about like, everybody here, as far as the edutainers go, has come from uh, that New Horizons side. And, and I think that's, there's an advantage to that. We have the, um, the experience teaching in a traditional classroom-type environment. Um, we all love teaching. Uh, so I think that helps, but I think, you know, one of the things I thought when I, when I was teaching with New Horizons, and I, and I like New Horizons, it's, it's a great school, it's a great place to get your start, it's where I got it, but, uh, you know, the, it's very limited in what they can do. As an instructor there, you had to stick to the mock, the Microsoft right. official curriculum, had to follow that step yeah. by step, and they tried to cram so much information in such a short amount of time. Um, IT Pro TV does a different approach. You know, we were, yeah. we can take all the time we need. Uh, we can go outside of the, the official curriculum if we need right. to, and uh, it's just a, a much, yeah. a much more engaging way of learning. I think. Oh, absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. I mean, yeah. it's one thing I kind of tell it all the time. It's uh -huh. completely different. You know, it, it really it, is. It, it's, it, it's entertaining. Yeah. You know? it's, you, I think anybody could tune in and watch and be like, oh, yeah, this is this is good. This is informative. I, I understand what they're talking about. Which I think that's a, a really, a really a huge uh, part of teaching and, and, and mm -hmm. learning. Um, you guys really explain things. Yeah, that everybody can understand. And that's one of our goals. Mm -hmm. I know, me as an instructor, that's always one of my goals. Is uh, from teaching for so many years and and watching and learning how people learn. Everybody learns a little differently. You know, you've got your audible learners, you've got your tactile learners, you've got your visible learners. You know, your visual learners. Um, and I always try to incorporate a little bit of all of those because I think everybody learns a little differently. Yeah. I like seeing stuff uh, and, and touching yeah. stuff and doing stuff. Um, and then using analogies that maybe don't come from the computer side of things, but especially for somebody that's getting into computers. Yeah. And you see certain teachers uh, in other places I've worked in where they, um, I'm trying to think of a good way to say it, you know, they, they'll try to use analogies, but they're 
computer related, and I, I can't, you can't associate with that. Right, yeah, you're gonna um, miss people a lot yeah, of times. Yeah, you know? so taking IP addresses and, and creating an analogy between street addresses, you know, that's yeah. something that everybody uh, understands. Right. Uh, and doing it the way we do here at IT Pro TV, being that, that conversational type atmosphere where I can just talk to my co-host about, you know, what's your experience with this and, and things like that, so much different than that traditional I'm going to sit up here and lecture right. you and drill it into you and you're going to fall asleep or yeah, everybody doodling. turn to page 242 and I'm going to yeah. read to you exactly what it says type it, of thing. You know, yeah, right? exactly. That, that's yeah. no fun. Right. So. Yeah, no, that's perfect. <laughs> that's great. Um, so if you're going to give anybody advice who is looking to get into the field, mm -hmm. who's looking to get into IT, you know, whether career change, maybe they're, you know, just about to start college, mm -hmm. you know, what type of advice would you give them? Gosh, um, I'd, I'd probably say one, go for it. You know, it's, it's a great field to be in. There are so many opportunities to kind of niche yourself, whether you want to go into security or cloud and, and things like that. Um, you, you have to be willing to learn, right? You have to enjoy learning, I think. And, and it's one of these fields that you don't stop learning. It, it's not like when I was a cook at a restaurant. Once you learn all the dishes, um, now you've got it down pat and it just becomes repetition over and over. You're constantly learning. You're constantly reading. I learn stuff every day, um, so it's really exciting. But when you're getting into it, um, start with the basics. You know, don't try to go to a, a high level class. It's very tempting for people to go, oh, I want to get into security, oh, yeah. and I want to jump right into certified ethical hacker and start learning how these guys work. And I, I think that can be a mistake in the fact that it's po it's possible, but it's a steep hill to climb. Um, I would always say start with your basics, uh, you know, do your A plus, your net plus. I mean, it, it might not be as glamorous as certified ethical hacker, but it gives you that foundational knowledge and, and everything builds upon that. And you can't learn how to secure a device if you don't understand how it works first right. and how it's supposed to be used. Um, so start off slow, you know, work at, at the beginning or, or start off with your basics and build those, that foundational knowledge uh, and it helps you go a long way in this field. Awesome. Really. Um, and then just decide what it is you like. Don't have any preconceptions. You know, I, I uh, when you start getting into this, you might find that, wow, DNS and Active Directory, thought I wanted to go into security, but this stuff fascinates me. Right. Uh, so so ch explore the different areas and find what it is that you like to do. Uh, I think it's so important to enjoy what you're doing and not just chasing a paycheck or a, a job title. So. You might start off wanting to do this, but if you find your path goes a different way, ride it, take it. So you kind of covered how um, you know you get into the field, you think you're going to be in, in hacking or something for security, for instance, and then you find that you love Active Directory, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's such variety where you're not limited yes, in this field. Absolutely. You know, um, it, it, there's just so many things you can do. Oh yeah. Uh, and you can spend your entire life working with databases. Right, right, and and have a great time. I think if yeah. that's your thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, did you have any experience like that where you're like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna go this route, you know? And then you find that, wow, this is this technology or this. Um, field is really you know, I think when I first got into it, yeah, a little bit because I, when I was taking classes back in New Horizons, I was uh, taking all my technical classes, but I also took a lot of like the office classes and web design classes and things like that. And, and I thought that might be where I want to go. Web design was, was a, a, a big thing, especially you know, back in the 2000s. It was, it was very popular. Uh, I found that it, it wasn't for me. You know, I thought that's where I wanted to go. I loved working at the time, I'll date myself, you know, Flash um, and working with animations and things like that. Um, but I found one, I'm not creative enough. <laughs> I'm very left brained and I don't have the creativity. Uh, and it was a very, um, oh, it's a good way to say, you know, there was a, there was a very, uh, um, there was a lot of competition uh, in that field with, with very that creative crowd. people. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it just wasn't for me. Uh, and then that's what kind of led me over towards more of a focusing on the, on the server side of things. And I like, you know, what, what piqued my interest was understanding how things work. You know, end users come in and use their systems and they just expect certain things. You know, I should be able to type in a name and connect to this resource, or I should be able to log into my computer. And that infrastructure that supports all that, that makes that magic happen, Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, um, those fascinated me. And I love being able to um, say, you know, I'm the one that, that got this network up and running. I'm the reason that 
you don't have any problems when you log in, you know, and, and right. it's a, it can sometimes be unrewarding because you don't hear anything when everything's working yeah. right, you know. Right. As soon as right. that email server yeah. goes down, oh, your, your yeah. phone's lighting up, your email, your inbox is full. Oh, yeah, it all breaks um, loose. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not as rewarding uh, in that respect, but uh, I think very rewarding in, in, you know, watching your network perform flawlessly, good performance, right. things like that. So. Yeah, you and you cover two things here that I want to touch on, but... Uh -huh. you, Active Directory fascinates uh -huh. you, you know, yes. and I tell yes. that to everybody all the time. I love Active Directory. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, I'm isn't a huge it? fan of Active, Active Directory and Group Policy. Yes, like yes. That, that's the type of stuff that, like, I don't know. It, it makes to me, me happy to yes. do. It, you know, it's like I, I don't think I ever be upset. You know, having to set up a, a new GPO or anything absolutely. like that. You know, or create new users or something. Yeah, which PowerShell made that so easy. Yeah, you know, absolutely. But, um, you know, it is. It, it's a fascinating service, and it's. It's, it's I mean, the backbone of everything we do. Yeah. It, it, oh, yeah. it kind of goes on behind the scenes, uh, but somebody's going to be back there setting up those GPOs, making sure replication is working, and you know, and all yeah. of that. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, you like have to be a geek, right? Yeah, but, totally, <laughs> totally. But um, in 1999, mm -hmm. uh, I picked up my first book, which was HTML for Dummies. Okay. And I was like, I I like this, you know. I I kind of said I want to do a website one day, so I I'm going to learn how to do it. Uh -huh. So for about five years or so, I, I did websites, you know, I did right. web development, you know, and uh, throughout that time, like people just assumed, well, he, he's, he's a nerd, right? You know, yeah, uh -huh. he knows about computers. <laughs> right. So I'd often get asked, you know, questions about computers and can you help me with my computer? Mm -hmm. It's not something I necessarily wanted to do at the time, but I right. did it because it was interesting to me, you know? Uh -huh. And that's when I found out like, I don't like web development. <laughs> really? I really love like the tech stuff. Like this uh -huh. is great, you know. So it changed my whole path. So it's wow. funny that you kind of brought up like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you you kind of wanted to do that also, you know. It's like, well, I was in it, and I was like, I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I built my first website, and it looked atrocious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the color scheme was horrible. It was very blocky and all yeah. this, and I was like, yeah, okay, maybe this isn't for me. Right. <laughs> yeah. I had that same thing. You know? <laughs> That's funny, and it's good yeah. to just know that other people, you know, they they can go through that. Yeah, absolutely. Shouldn't never be intimidated. I think by this field and no. um, or limit yourself to just one area because yeah. you can move on to something different. Absolutely, and, and, and you know, if you're in a different career and you're you're thinking about getting into uh, IT and, and things like this, I mean, that's what I did. I, I was. Gosh, I'm trying to think of how old I was. I was uh, uh, pretty well on in my in age, uh, and decided to make that change. So it's it's never too late to start doing something that you love. Um, you know, you can start doing a little bit of training here with IT Pro TV. Uh, you know, and still keep your your day job or whatever, and work with us at night and and get those certifications to try to get that entry level position. But don't be scared. If you know, if it's something that you want to do, you just have to put your mind to it. It's it's definitely possible. I'm living proof that. I had no IT experience whatsoever uh, when I started school there. Had my certifications within a year, uh, and then was working in the field. Yeah, wow. and that was complete career that's, change. That's awesome. So, so how old do you, if you don't mind me asking, uh -huh. how old do you think you were? Uh, well, let's see. I was trying to do the math here. So I'm 49 now. Wow, you look uh, 49. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, and that was well, that would have been 2004. So that was 14 years ago. Uh, so 35. Oh, Something okay. like so, that, right around there, yeah. I guess. Um, yeah. Like I said, I had done just about everything in the world before that. I was uh, when I got out of high school, I tried college, didn't work out for me. Was not the, the college right. kind of person. Um, did the army for four years, loved that, but didn't want to do it for the rest of my life. So thank you for your uh, service. Got out. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, and then went into restaurants. I waited tables. I've washed dishes. I've cooked. I've bartended. Um, ended up working my again my way up into management, um, and and like I said, had no IT experience at all, and just one day decided, you know what, computers are fascinating. Um, I want to get into that field, and, and uh, made it happen. Yeah. Uh, so. One question that I get often is, mm -hmm. am I too old to work in IT? You Absolutely know, so, not. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like I, I'll get you know thirty five year olds, forty mm -hmm. year olds, fifty year olds even who right. are just. You know, they're sick and tired of doing whatever it is that they're doing, yeah. and they're fascinated by IT. Yep. Am I too old to do it? Uh, there, Are they too old to do no it? Way. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm proof, I hope, right? Uh, and, you know, you're going to have people that are, you've got 16-year-olds next to you that are brilliant right. and, and, and make you think, wow, I should have started this a long time ago. 
Um, but definitely not too late to get into it if that's what you want to do. You know, like I said, I, I was late, 35, as we did the math there when I got into it. I drive in every day to work, and I look at all the people in the cars around me, and I think, man, sorry for all those people that are dreading going to work. Because right. I love coming to work. I love what I do. I love working with computers. They pay me to stand up here and, and play with computers. Right. Uh, yeah, you, you, know, it, that. you know, you really can't. So if it's your passion, if it's something I think that you want to do with your life, uh, it's never too late to get started. Um, I don't think you have any kind of restrictions like getting into the job field with people saying, oh, you're too old, uh, you can't do this, we're looking for somebody younger. Um, because I, it's all about your knowledge, right. you know, and you get those certifications to prove your knowledge. And that's really what the certifications are for, right, is so that I can go to that HR person, I can say, here's my certs, and they know that I have a baseline of knowledge. Right. And um, once you get those, you get into that, that entry level position, then it's just a matter of working your way up and uh, getting to be where you want to be. Yeah, so. I, I think uh, sometimes uh, the older people who are looking to get in IT mm -hmm. um, can sometimes bring a lot more value, mm -hmm. you know, because they have lots of experience, you know, whatever, whatever their history could be, they just, they have life experience and, yes. you know, uh, all that. So when, I think when companies see that, oh, wow, they just got their certs, you know, mm -hmm. they're, they're 45 years old, whatever it is, they just got their certs. Right. You know, that's ama yeah, that's a, that's amazing to me. Absolutely, for instance, you know. But I think of all the other knowledge that they could bring to the table, and mm -hmm. here's here's what else they could probably help with yep. uh, that, that a, an organization might need. Yeah. So I, I don't want, I ever want anybody to feel deterred or, or yeah, absolutely. question you know, you, getting into this field. For sure about that. You know, it, it's uh, I I think if I'm interviewing somebody and I see that they're 40 years old and they just got their search, you know, one thing I I know is they've got the knowledge because they've got their certification, yeah. uh, and this is probably something they really want to do, yeah. right? They're not just changing careers for on a whim or testing things out. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that this is something they want to they really want to get into. Oh, yeah. uh, whereas maybe uh, with the younger people, you might be afraid that you know are they going to stick with this mm -hmm. or something like that. So I, I think there's nothing wrong with being of age and trying to get into this field. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to. Oh, your, no. Your agents, <laughs> no, that's all right. You, know, you just kind of brought it up. So I was like, you know what? I, I need to cover that. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's asked so frequently. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, some people do get deterred with, and you brought it up, like they're sitting next to a 16 year old, 18 year old. And, mm -hmm. You know, they, they're so much smarter than you. It's yes, like, and they're flying on the keyboard yeah. because they grew up using a computer. Right. Yeah. Uh, and you're trying to move, hey, how do I get this thing open? But yeah, you, you just cannot uh, let that deter you at all. You yeah. really want to just. Um, do what it is you like to do, focus in and, and get the job done. Uh, it's definitely, as we get older, you know, learning becomes a little more difficult. Um, I remember taking a, a class on the adult learning, or the, it, was, it was a neurobiology of adult learning. Uh, can you teach an old dog new tricks type thing? And, and they've proven, you know, you definitely can. It, it might take me a few more times of doing it before I get it memorized, but um, it's definitely possible. You know, another thing, Zach, that I, I would suggest for people that are getting into this, take advantage of the technology uh, that's out there. Right? You know, obviously, we want you to come here to IT Pro TV and learn, uh, but I, I can't stress the importance of hands-on. You know, we have practice labs available here, mm -hmm. but they're, you know, with virtualization, when I was getting into this back in 2004, I remember going to garage sales and trying to find old hardware, anything that I could scrape together, because I wanted to build a little network and run a domain controller and a DNS server. And at that time, it was physical hardware, or you didn't have any other choice. Right. But now with virtualization, on my laptop, I can run four, five, six virtual machines. Yeah. Um, Microsoft makes all of the trial software available, Server 2016, Windows 10. So one of the things I think unlike other fields maybe, where you can go in and you can read a book and you can study, study, study that way um, and you can be good. IT, I, I, I think, in my personal opinion, it's, you've got to get in there and play with it because it doesn't always work the way it's supposed to. You know? and, yeah. and you've got steps to follow and this is what it should do, but that's the cool thing about computers. They're quirky, you know? yeah, things happen. Yeah. They don't always work exactly right. Um, or little things pop up, and, and that's stuff that you can't get from reading a book. Uh, you need to get in there and install that operating system a couple times. You need to get in there and configure DNS and, and create those records and work with group policy and, and test replication, you know, and things like that. So um, do whatever it is you need to do to, to play with it as well. Don't think you can just 
read a book and go, and I'm not saying you can't, you know, you might be able to read that book and go pass that test. Um, but I think you'll be a much more rounded uh, knowledge base if you combine that with some kind of hands-on, whether that's through practice labs with us, uh, I would highly encourage you to get oh, any of the freely available uh, virtualization software, trial editions, and bang on it. You know, when a lot of times when these labs are set up, they give you step by step by step on what to do. And as long as you follow those steps, it's going to come out the way it should. Um, but what happens if users do something differently? You know, or, you know, that's what you want to try, try to break things yeah, and, and then absolutely. see if you can fix them. Um, to me, that's the fun part of it. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's invaluable knowledge that you just can't get from reading a book. Oh, 100%. Yep. 100%. It's awesome. So dive in, don't be scared, yeah. uh, and just go for it is, is the, the theme of the day. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Mike, I appreciate you uh, being on the show and, and answering these questions and, and sharing your knowledge, sharing your, your history with everybody and, and you know, I think you're going to inspire a lot of people here. So uh, I hope so. And uh, Zach, appreciate you having me on the show. Thank you. Thank you.